Checking that Thursday forecast as we head into the final weekend of summer. Well, let's start by talking about the drought because we had some thunderstorms in the area last night. Obviously, it'll do almost no good uh, towards the drought, but check out these uh, conditions. Now, we expect an update to come out graphically to later today, but again, we'll see the expansion of that exceptional and extreme drought area, that orange area, all the way through Grand Island and Hastings. So uh, the bottom line is the entire state is dry, especially the further west you go. And unfortunately, even though there's still some kind of hit or miss chances in the forecast for rain, it doesn't look good. The areas that really don't need it as much as uh, everyone else is in the extreme southeastern part of the state. So again, we'll have a few hit or miss showers and thunderstorms possible as uh, we take a look here at the uh, Futurecast product and we'll see some clouds, especially to the east of Highway 14, Highway 81. As we get through the evening hours of Friday, a few passing uh, showers and thunderstorms possible here and likely it's just that uh, it's not going to be widespread and that might carry over until uh, early Saturday morning. But again, overall, not looking great in terms of putting a dent in the drought anytime soon. We need inches and inches of rain. Of course, the heat and humidity doesn't help any either. We're looking at Friday, Thursday highs uh, in the low 90s. That'll carry through Friday, not before we have pretty warm evening on Thursday night. Overnight lows again will stay in the mid 60s for the most part with clear skies. Then there's that Friday forecast. We'll see showers and thunderstorm chances anyway creeping up as we get through the latter part of the afternoon into the evening. And once again on Friday, we'll see those highs stretching into the 90s in that Labor Day weekend forecast. A cold front coming through associated with those showers and thunderstorms will knock us back slightly. So the Labor Day weekend doesn't look all that hot and humid. But again, next week we will start to creep back up to average temperatures mid to upper 80s next week. That's Check Your Forecast. Thanks for following along and watching Nebraska Weather TV.